Hey, my name is Rich Fortas, and I'm here talking about the drop strap. If I'm playing leads or if I'm playing like more chordal stuff that where I need to spread out my fingers or I want to play with my fingers, it's more comfortable for me up high like this. And then it's more comfortable for me to play rhythm stuff down low, which is where I'm at most of the night. Then when I need to, I can just push in this button and it raises up, push down and it drops. I found out about drop step from Phil, from Phil X, my buddy. And uh, you know, anything he does, I do. Because <laughs> I've been looking for something like this for the longest time, trying to figure out a way since I was a kid, putting my foot on a monitor or, you know, it, this works so well. I'm super happy with them. It's very cool that you can use your own strap because I don't want to, you know, I've got a specific strap that I like and not a lot of people necessarily like a thin strap, leather yeah. strap like this, but for me it works great. It's seamless. I mean, most people don't see it when I'm... Super. In fact, Slash just asked me about it the other day. He's like, how, how do you do that? I think it's for anybody. I mean, there's, for me at least, there's positions that are com more comfortable than others for certain types of things. And in general, I like having a guitar, this is like a comfortable length for me. And then, but for some things, if I'm, like I said, if I'm doing, playing with my fingers, I like it up higher. It's more comfortable for me to do that than to have it low. Um, and obviously, if you're doing shreddy type stuff, the higher, yeah, is the good. easier it is, you know? and the more comfortable. It's not necessarily about appearance as much as it is what's comfortable for, and what's going to be most comfortable for what type of part you're playing, uh -huh. you know? That's my take on it anyways. Yeah.